So one of my subscribers on Discord was asking me how I do like CSS transitions to fade in and out an image or I don't know what he's trying to fade in, but I figured, hey, it would be a good video to kind of explain how you do that. So this is what I'm going to show you. Basically, it's a button that toggles uh, the fade in of an image. Pretty straightforward, but let's go ahead and show you how this could be done. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a blank uh, index file here. And we also have a turkey image that we're going to be using to display to the page. But to start this off, let's just go ahead and make in the body an image. And I'm going to put a source of that turkey image. And if I go back to my UI, it should show that in my browser. So everything's working fine. And I also want to add a button. And that button could say like toggle turkey. So now we have a really small toggle turkey button. I want to make it a little bit bigger so we can actually see it. So on the button itself, let's just give it some padding of like 20 pixels and a font size of let's say like 30 pixels and see if that makes it a little bit bigger. So the image shows up and the toggle button is there. It's a bit bigger. So we also want to basically add some functionality to the button when we click it. So inside the script tag down here, I'm going to add a function called like toggle turkey. And I'm going to console log something just to make sure that we are actually like here. And if you are new to HTML, one way that you can add event listeners to elements is by just typing attributes. So one of the attributes you can do is on click. And we can basically call a function when someone clicks on this button. So in this case, I want to call the toggle turkey button or the toggle turkey function here. So let's go over here and go to our console. So going back to Chrome, if you don't know how to open up your dev tools, you can right click on the page and click inspect. Or I think you could do like command option J. But regardless, let's go ahead and click on toggle turkey and make sure that it actually like prints out a something in the console here, which it did. So in order to implement a toggle fade in functionality, typically you want to have like an element that has an opacity of zero by default. So I can give this a class of like turkey. And let's also give it an ID of turkey so we can target it later on. And inside the styling up here, I'm going to go ahead and just give that turkey an opacity of zero. And we can also go down here and we can kind of get that turkey element by doing a document dot get element by ID. So I'm going to go ahead and say get the element of turkey, which should be this image. And then also we have a class of turkey that makes it kind of not show on the page when you first load the page. And what we're trying to do is when you click on this toggle turkey, we want to add a class that basically makes the turkey show up. So how do you do that? Well, we have a reference to the turkey element here and we can do turkey dot class list. This is just a an object that has a couple of functions on it that you can basically add or remove classes from DOM elements. And I'm going to say toggle. I'm going to say fade in. So when I click on this button, it should add a fade in class to this turkey image. So let's go ahead and open up the elements tab here and click on the toggle turkey. And you'll notice that the turkey has a fade in class attached to it. Okay, so now we can actually style a fade in class or we can define a fade in class. And we're just going to give it an opacity of one. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Now you click it, you'll see that it shows up. So the last piece of this puzzle is basically just giving a transition to opacity. So in CSS, you can say transition. The first parameter is going to be like which property you want to transition. Like I could put all here or I could just put opacity. And then you put how long you want that transition to take. So I'm going to say one second. And if I go back and refresh my page, you'll notice that the turkey is now fading in and fading out when you click it. All right, that's basically how you can toggle an image using CSS transitions. If you liked watching this video, do give me a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment below if there's a different way that you like toggling or showing images. And also, be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed watching this because I'm going to have other videos like this that should hopefully help you become a better web developer in the future. Have a good day.